what is up my friend my forex friend okay so here's a quick video practice the same pair we're doing right here i want you to mark up this chart i want all of my students to do the same chart to mark up the same chart so that we all can examine the same chart the same way this is my goal for my student group anyways so uh, aussie usd or au what we call it au australian dollar versus us dollar i want you to mark up mark up this chart make a note we're on the four hour chart right now and see this is my monthly level weekly level and i need to update my chart i'm going to look for new monthly and weekly levels here but where did this green line come from this green line came from right here do you see how accurate the market is anyways so it came down one time some crash here and where did price go it went and retested that same area it's amazing anyways so once you map out your weekly and monthly levels on the weekly and monthly chart i want you to go to the four hour chart and then we start mapping our higher lows lower low this should actually be the new higher low lower low this was a higher low lower low higher low so i need to fill in this area however what right here this is an example of break a structure uh, okay so this see how it went from a higher low to a lower low each one of these moves, every move here from, from up here to here, we can measure all of these. We're measuring with fibs. Go over fibs again, the fibs chapter, if you're confused. So what makes this a break of structure? How did I know this was a break of structure? Because look, from here, I go from the uh, resistance to the very tip of this so this was one move so see how this is from here to here that is one one move that's one down move this does you know considering this is i didn't consider this a move i'm just going to consider this one move here so what are we doing here we're looking to see how far it retraced so how far did price retrace from here? Let's see. So from here, I'm just going to draw a little line here. Uh, one second. So it came to, in the previous chapter, I talked about the area that I uh, call the sweet spot between 78.6% and see how price came from here, went up here. This is where I labeled as a sweet spot, but price didn't reverse at the sweet spot. It kept going, 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 going right here. See how it says 100% over here? That's because we started here. The move, the higher low came from, where do we mark it? From here. So that's why we marked our fibs down this way it retraced we're expecting or hoping this is how we join a trend we join a trend when it reverses from between 71 78.6 and 61.8 when price comes and it spikes up around here then we can join the trend down but this time it didn't this time it went all the way back up to the starting point starting point this was the first move down then it retraced from here all the way back to 100 percent and you can see on fibs 100 percent 
that's actually not 0% here. Let me move it over. This is 0. This is 100%. So from the initial move, it moved down here. Price retraced and passed 100%. When it passes 100%, that means a new trend has possibly started. It could still crash down here, but I'm going to be looking for price to hopefully start a new trend this way that's what i'm waiting for i need something that i'm going to teach you later but something i'm going to look for that will advise me to join the upward trend if it makes the upward trend but anyways getting back to fibs look each one of these moves so this is actually one second here copy this is the next lower low Copy, paste. This is the next higher low. You can see lower low, higher. Here, let me draw it out. Lower low, higher low. See how it keeps making this, this trend? Or not trend, I guess it's making this. This is a trending market. Yeah, it is. It's a trending market. When it makes higher lows, and lower lows it's trending anyways once it's trending what we do is we use fibs to measure this move so right from here we're gonna measure I'm gonna pull it out to here but where I'm measuring to is right here oops I didn't mean to do that one second that's the move so you can see here this is the move i put fibs in from here to here i fibbed it we're measuring retrace look where it did price went to 61.8 and then continued I'm going to delete that fibs. If price if price retraced 100% and continued this way, that means that's a break of structure when it breaks 100%. But we're looking for it to this is a sweet spot in between 78.6 and 61.8. This is what we're looking for. This is how we would join the trend. Then we could place a cell around here and join the trend down. That's how we use fibs. But look, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go back to fibs again. So what's the next move? We measured this move, right? Now I'm going to measure this move. Uh, or did we just do that? Uh, maybe not. Okay, so right there. So I'm measuring this move from here to here. And price, where did it do? This time, it retraced to 38.2. See that? It held this line. And then dropped. What a common thing that happens is price commonly jumps between, it reverses at 38.2%. And it also commonly reverses from 61.8% why we choose this area in between here 61.8 because then we're our risk is a lot less because again like you said it could retrace all the way to 100 percent and then continue back down but if we place a trade if we place a trade at this level here 30 38.2 Price could go all the way to 100% and then come back down and continue and it doesn't break structure. It doesn't break structure because price can come and hit 100% retrace five times. It can hit it like many times. As long as it doesn't go past 100% and continues downward, then the trend is still valid. Anyways, I want you to practice that. That's what I mean. This is market structure, how it moves. You measure with fibs 
uh, measure each one of these moves, right? Type or uh, add in higher your higher lows, your lower lows, add this. I need you to recognize this and I need you to see how the market's flowing and I need you to fib, use fibs on every one of these moves because until it breaks, like if, until it breaks 100% retrace from here, when it breaks 100% retrace, a new move is being formed. It's gonna go this way. Anyways, that was a quick video that turned long. I hope you understand and you will understand. You're going to do great. Thanks for watching my videos.